Nicola. Hello, everyone. Today we are back in The Sims 4 with our holiday household. And today we know that in the last episode, Roxanne was born, little baby Roxy. And we're pretty excited. Um, I'm hoping we'll be able to move them out of this apartment soon. Because it's going to get a bit small as Roxanne starts to grow up. Um, yeah, so... Right now, uh, Anthony's at work. And I guess we'll have... Since he's at work, uh, Victoria does need to eat. So we'll have her bake because she... What is this? Clean that up. I guess Anthony left that there. Um, we're going to have her cook. No, bake because she has a good baking skill, but Anthony's more of the chef in the family, of course, because he does have the culinary career. But she's good at baking, so we're going to have her do that. Okay, so... Um, Roxy's upstairs crying, but she's kind of cooking right now, so she she isn't going to check on the baby. I, because I see the sad mood, but... but mm, she... Oh. Just like Anthony, she <laughs> dropped it in the... Yeah, see? But she's not going to go check on baby Roxy, because she's cooking. Oh, what? Hmm? Did she just put the right one in, or...? Okay, so now she went, and she's going to go check on Roxy, since she's done cooking now. Um, I'm hoping Anthony gets home soon, because we kind of... Okay, so we kind of recapped last episode when Roxy was born. We were all pretty excited it was a girl. Um, we're hoping they can move out of the apartment soon. Maybe even we'll start making the apartment in this episode. But I do have a nice plan for this episode, so hopefully Anthony does get home from work soon. Oh, there he is! No promotion, though. Okay, so since Anthony's home... I'm thinking we're going to have them go out, um, maybe a date, maybe just travel together, and maybe we'll have Anthony propose to Victoria, oh my goodness, and they'll be engaged now, um, we won't have their wedding yet, of course, or, because we gotta kind of set that up, but... I'm going to try to get him to propose today, so hopefully it goes well, I, uh, let's see... We are not going to propose on the spot. We're going to go somewhere nice. Okay, so Victoria is going to ask him on the date. Let's see. Uh, so they'll probably just send Roxy to daycare, of course. Because <laughs> they're not going to leave her in the apartment by herself. Or with that next door neighbor with the pink hair, of course. Uh, yeah. Um. So let's have them go on a date. We'll figure out where. Okay, here we are. Let's go check here uh the park seems nice last time we well they went on a date they went to like that karaoke place so i'm thinking the park would be a cute little different kind of scenario okay here we are uh oh i hate when it has the things to do for the date okay so roxy has been sent to daycare so uh, I hate when it has those things we have to do, but we're gonna have to get them done or they're not gonna have fun on their date. But let's see what we have here. We have a nice place we can sit down. A little kid play center, but Roxy's way too young for that, so. Okay. I know, uh, this, I haven't played Sims in a bit, so I have never played with the infant stage before that they added. Uh, so that will be an experience because I have no idea what you have to do with the infants. <laughs> Okay, so just trying to get the conversation up, like the 10 times you have to socialize with your date, because we got to get that up a bit to even get a gold star date, which is sucks, but it's going to take a bit. Oh, look at this little nice area over here. It's cute. Hold on, let me see it. Mm, yeah, it's cute, but where are we going to do it at? Hmm, it's a pretty big park, actually. I've never really traveled to the parks. I usually just go to the buildings. It's pretty cute, pretty cute. Uh, maybe they'll do it over by that building or next to the pond. It's a cute building, probably not inside. Inside isn't the nicest, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty cute from the outside. So maybe we'll have them do it right next to this building or underneath this little roof part. Okay, so here they are, looking cute. Uh, they got their nice outfits on, thank god they're not in their sleep clothes as they usually are. 
<laughs> oh, of course. Uh, they're so cute together. Um, I like how they're under this little patio part. It's cute. But let's try to get them facing a bit this way so we can kind of see when it happens. Okay, so Victoria kind of moved out a bit. So thank goodness. Um, so now we can kind of see when it does happen from the outside instead of having to go all close to them so we can kind of see it from the building like kind of from like this view which would be super cute oh this is such a nice place uh let's see romance should we have them propose yet no no we gotta finish the things on the date first so we gotta do deep conversations so as much as I try, I keep hitting deep conversation, but they're just not having one. So it's just been stuck at one. Um, it's just, it's not working. I don't really know why. <laughs> so it looks like they're not going to be able to get that unless it magically starts working now. But it's not working every time I hit it. I could try it. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's, let's just go straight to the propose. Because obviously we're not getting the deep conversation, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, look at it. They're even turning. Okay, let's see. Look at this nice view. Oh, and he said yes. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, uh, Victoria is feeling particularly loyal and trust is important to her. Oh, she can have the loyal trait. Yeah, we'll give her the loyal trait. That seems nice. That's actually pretty cute that she became loyal right after they got engaged. So I'm happy he said yes, Um, even though they had some up and downs. I think it was the last episode when we saw that Anthony wanted to flirt with that other girl. But, you know, he made it up to her now. She He didn't say no, thank God, because that breakup thing's gone. And she's feeling loyal, which is super cute right after they got engaged. So here they are now. Uh, I guess we could try to do the deep conversation again. Because it's not working, but maybe it'll work now that they got proposed. Uh, express your devotion. Let's see. Please. Work, maybe? That would be great if you could. Nope, see? It, it didn't do anything. What? As much as I try, it's just not giving them another deep conversation. I'm, I'm not getting why. Okay, so we're just gonna have to end the date there because the deep conversation's not working, but we still we still got the legendary date thing because it was only one deep conversation that just wouldn't work for some reason. Uh so yeah. Um I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was in a pretty spot too under this little uh overhead part of the park. There was no one at the park, which was kinda weird, but it is also four in the morning. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. But Anthony didn't get done work till late and uh, then in the morning, because Victoria goes to work early in the morning, and Anthony goes to work in the afternoon, so it was like, this is really the only time we could do it, because it's the time when they both don't have work, plus they're off separate days, Anthony's off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Victoria's off Sunday and Saturday, so they're really never home the same day, unless it's a vacation day. So, I mean, this was this was the only time we could really do it. So, maybe it was better that no one was here because they kind of had the whole park to themselves. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Thank God Anthony didn't say no because of that other lady. But now that she magically, like, I don't know, she just kind of died randomly. And so, yeah, but she's gone now. But they're pretty happy. They're pretty happy. Also, I didn't post Saturday because I don't post on Saturdays. But I didn't post on Sunday because Sunday was a holiday. And so I just didn't get around to being able to post. So this is the first post for two days. I know. Uh, since Sunday was a holiday, I just couldn't get around to it. So this will be my first post for two days. Oh my goodness, that's been a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I can't post on Saturdays because I just, I have a lot going on on Saturdays. So that's my off day. <laughs> and it was a holiday. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, let's have them take a picture together because, you know, when I used to play Sims a lot more before and I'm just getting back into it, when I used to play Sims and I used to have long legacy families, I would always have them take pictures with each other at the beginning family and then have pictures of everyone in the family and have a whole family wall in, like, the main house. So hopefully when they move out, they can have a whole family wall in one of the rooms, which would be super cute. So we'll have them take a picture now. Uh, so this will be the first picture on the wall.
Uh, do we want them? In? What pose do we want them in? Okay, so looking at the poses, we could do a cute little. Well, that's a cute one. That's also cute. One of the kind of poses. Oh, sad. <laughs> well, not sad. Oh, but that one's that one's funny. That one's cute. I'm liking this one though. I'm thinking this one. Uh, a little filter to make it brighter. Yeah, I always take two because uh, I learned that if you take one, sometimes if their photography isn't great, it comes out really blurry or it has a little gnome in the corner and that gnome kills me. I hate that gnome. It's like ruins the pictures. <laughs> Anyways, it was my little rant about that gnome in the corner, but we're going to send them home now because I'm thinking we'll have another little fun thing to do for this episode. So here we are back at the house. And what I'm thinking we could do is we are going to sell some things that aren't mandatory to us, like little decorations around the apartment. So we can see how much money we gain to see if we will be able to move out of this tiny apartment and into a better house. So we're just gonna sell a bunch of plants. I love my plants, so you know there's a lot of plants in here. Um, but we're just, oops, we're gonna move and well, we're going to try to move and we're going to try to sell all these things that we necessarily don't need in our apartment. Uh, I'm keeping that big plant in the corner. We can't live without that one. All these things that we don't need, all these little decorations will make a big difference. Look at, we're already almost at $10,000. Um, so um, my goal is maybe 15000 or more. Oh, and we have all these things in our inventory that I didn't even know were that. Oh, we're already at more than 15,000. So, um, my guess is we are going to be able to move out soon. So, right now we're at 17,000, which is really good, honestly. For We didn't even sell too much. So there's more we could actually sell. Um, so, yeah, I think we will be able to honestly move out and go into a bigger house. Oh, I put that picture on the wall over there because that's our biggest wall right now in this apartment. Don't have too much space, so. We have some more stuff we can get rid of. If we can get to like 20,000. Open. 20,000 would be plenty to move into a house. We might be a little poor in the house, but at least we'll have stuff when we first move in. Well, no, we won't have anything when we first move in. At least we'll have enough to buy the house. <laughs> oh, uh, all these little decorations all on the wall can go. Sadly, the big plant. But it's okay. We can get a new big plant in the big in the big house. Uh, all this stuff. We're gonna keep the cookbook because Anthony needs that. We're gonna keep the picture. Just put it in the inventory of the house. Oh, uh, bench. We'll probably get rid of this. The baby can't even use it yet. A little singing. Put in the inventory. Mm, decorations on the table. All of it. All of it gone. <laughs> Okay, so after selling everything, we are just a bit over 20000 which is great. I'm pretty excited because that means we will be able to move it out probably next episode, thank gosh. Uh, <laughs> I can't, but that means we'll be able to move out, which is great, which means that the kid can grow up in a bigger house rather than this tiny apartment. It's, it, it's honestly not a terrible apartment. It could be way worse. The neighbors aren't terrible except for that one. Uh, but it's not terrible. It's 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 big enough. I just mean we want a bigger house, so hopefully we'll be able to move out. But now we're going to get into building the house since we do have a little bit more time for the episode. I'm going to put a time lapse up of the building of the house now. So I will see you there. Um, if the video doesn't have an outro after it, um, I'm not sure if I will do one or if it'll just end with the time lapse and the outro, but, um, make sure to like, subscribe to join the Jadeverse, and I will be posting more of the Holiday Household soon, so into the time lapse we go.